Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and XDA developers posted a really interesting little article about something that's close to me and close to you if you have a Steam Deck, right? Now, as you know, there's a lot of games that are verified to run on deck just fine, but some games are not verified yet. Now, that's either because Valve hasn't got around to testing them yet to see if they work on SteamOS, but there's a website out there that can let you browse all the games you want that are on the Steam library and see if they work on Steam Deck, Steam Deck. even if they've not got a verified badge next to them and they've not been tested. Chances are they work just fine, and there's a website that you may or may not know about already. Chances are if you're big on Steam Deck, you probably do, but there's a website you can browse whenever you want it to see what games are working fine, what, what games have issues, stuff like that on Steam Deck. And we're going to talk about it in this video. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you want more If you want more Steam Deck content on your homepage every single day. So subscribe, bell icon, and if you like this video, hit the like as well. Um, let's get into it, and please. So XDA developers, kudos to them for this article, need more games to play on your Steam Deck. Check out ProtonDB. Now we're going to get into ProtonDB in a second and we're going to look at some of the stuff it does, all right? So you don't have to just limit yourself to just the verified on deck games. There is a whole world of games waiting to be discovered that you can browse on ProtonDB, okay? <laughs> so um, if you have a Steam Deck and have exhausted your verified on deck library, did you know that there's other games that are completely playable? Verified on deck games are merely the ones Valve has reviewed and play tested on the Steam Deck. And that's why ProtonDB is a great community resource that allows you to get more from your game's library and get a sense of the games that are playable on Steam Deck, even if they're not verified by Valve. Now, if you look at your Steam library on Steam Deck, chances are there's going to be a couple of games that say something like unsupported, you know, and that doesn't mean they're unsupported and that doesn't mean they don't work. It just means Valve hasn't got around to testing them yet. And that's at that point, if you're wanting to play that game, you're going to want to go on to ProtonDB here and search for that game up here because basically the whole Linux community and Steam, Steam Deck community come on here and they basically test games you know, test games themselves, and then basically give it a rating to tell you if it works or not, if it's playable, if it's got gold, if it's got bronze support, if there's some issues with it. This is your resource you want to use. Now, I'll put a link to this in the video description, okay? Um, PUBG Battlegrounds, for example, completely bored, all right? Um, basically, let, have, a, have a guess, anti-chi. So this is a great resource to use, okay? Um, so ProtonDB simplifies the process of figuring out what games will work and what games won't work on your deck. All you need to do is give it access to view your Steam library. From there, it will tell you what games are confirmed by Valve as verified or playable. It will also tell you what games have been community rated. Games that are community rated go off of user reports showing you which games you can play in your deck that you may not have noticed in your library. Even better, there's a mini forum of sorts. You can click a game and for the games that require tweaks, see what's wrong with it and see what you can do to improve performance or make it playable. For example, Assassin's Creed 2 is considered unplayable on the Steam Deck, but users on ProtonDB discovered a way to make it work and play properly. It admittedly takes a bit of work, but most people would simply would have simply seen that it was unplayable and skipped over it. Other games such as Call of Duty World War 2 run completely fine without any tweaks in most cases, though for some reason Valve has marked it unplayable as well. So let's take an example of this, alright? Let's go to a game that's bronze here, Dead by Daylight. Easy anti cheat. Let's see what people have got to say. So this guy, you see the little Steam Deck logo here? This is a guy that's tested it. So he says, switch to experimental. That's what you want to do to make this work. So overall, online doesn't work, of course, because it's got anti cheat the bane of the Steam Deck's existence. I was able to play an entire multiplayer game on Thanksgiving on my Steam Deck, no issue. Unfortunately, there has been some change since then that causes the 500 error and disconnects me from matchmaking. If they enable Proton support server side, it will work no problem. Now, overall, your local your local gameplay works just fine, even if they have EAC Proton support server side. As of right now, you can get to the main menu with the EAC runtime installed on Steam, but game disconnects you once a multiplayer match begins with a 500 error um obviously server side block you know anti-cheat typical but there are workarounds so if there are workarounds for games chances are you're going to find them on proton db okay um this this website is absolutely fantastic for this like this is a necessity if you have a steam deck okay um let's see do, 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 do. most of the issue most of the games that have some kind of issues that still work are typically you know it's it's typically because of anti-cheat um let's go down here let's go to let's hold on let me go to check out um let me check out age of empires 
empires too because i've downloaded that game okay it's got gold support okay so basically the issues are minor artifacts okay on the graphics windowing game loses focus when on-screen keyboard would pop up so that's a little bug that you might be able to fix by changing your version of proton okay input deck track pads are no fun with this game so inaccuracy so there's an issue with it save games cannot te input text such as entering a save game file name that's a big issue. And then slight performance problems, map scrolling stutters heavily. This game works best with mouse and keyboard and desktop mode, game uh, deck game mode especially, with the, track, tr with the trackpads is a waste of time. Um, and then here's somebody with the Steam Deck who also plays it, says basically the biggest issue is the text is difficult to read and sometimes cut off. Um, the game needs to be set on full desktop every launch, or just flip between settings. Otherwise, the game will be will stutter severely when scrolling around. So you're going you're going to want to switch to desktop mode on your Steam Deck to play this. Um, inputting text does not work. Keyboard will immediately disappear. So to even save the game, you've got to overwrite a save instead of making a new one. Um, someone says I played through one campaign so far. It controls really well thanks to the trackpad. Double click is difficult to perform though, so make a shortcut for it. So basically, this guy says the trackpad works fine, um, and he's played one full campaign of it. So th that's the sort of information you're going to want to see when you're browsing Proton DB. Okay, like it says, typically when you're shopping for games on Steam Deck, it has that Steam Deck verified button um, or playable, and it tells you why. Um, basically, Proton DB dives into the weeds and tells you exactly what's wrong with it exactly what kind of bugs and little nuisances that you're going to deal with when you're playing a game on the steam deck that maybe isn't deck verified okay so like it says protondb.com i'll put a link down below um it's infinitely useful for steam deck players okay so go check it out um and i believe there is actually a little add-on a little plugin for steam os that basically puts the proton db information overlaid on your steam library itself so you can actually see on your steam deck without having to go to the website what works and what doesn't even if it's not verified by valve anyways guys there's a little video for you about proton db you probably knew about it already but i just wanted to cover it for those that are maybe new to steam deck okay because it's super handy and it's a must need to, it's a need to know thing for steam deck players anyways guys enjoy the rest of your tuesday and please okay if you want more steam deck content on your homepage every single day please like subscribe and click the bell icon because i post multiple steam deck videos every single day sometimes a couple of tech videos mixed in sometimes a couple of just gaming videos 3d printing videos you name it unboxings reviews all that good stuff um and i'd love when you join me and i stream every day at twitch place to k gaming at 3 p.m eastern most days um i'll let you know on twitter if i decide to cancel if i've got something else i'm doing um i've got patreon which i'm going to be doing more on soon with it behind the scenes um, and yeah, come, please come follow me on Twitter and Twitch. It would mean a lot. And subscribe here, obviously. And if you want to support even more, click join down below. Become a member and get exclusive emojis. I'm going to be adding some Steam Deck emojis, which you can use, I believe, across all of YouTube, by the way. So if you want some cool Steam Deck emojis that you can type or put in the chat room whilst you're browsing other videos on YouTube or on other live streams on YouTube, then become a member and come get them. Although they're not there yet, I'm going to add them soon. All right, so stay tuned. Stay tuned because I'm going to be adding some cool buttons for our members. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Also, check some cool accessories down in the video description. I've posted some really cool accessories for your Steam Deck down there. All right, guys. Bye. See you in the next one. Bye.